Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another Jaspies Wild Card Weekend 7-box football mixer. Pick your team number three. Different configuration of boxes. Same wild, wild mixer. <coughs> Excuse me. On the fourth, there it is. Thanks to Darren Clark with triple last bod mojo. He picked up the last three teams. Nice. The Darren Clark Five. You guys remember the Darren Clark Five? Okay. The Dave Clark Five. Some of your parents might remember. 2014. Let's go from oldest to newest box. So 2014 Prism Football. There it is right here. Good luck, everybody. A little blast from the past. Remember when this guy is supposed to be the savior of Cleveland football? Dave is the name of, is your brother's name? Were, you, were your parents a fan of the old 1960s British invasion band, the Dave Clark Five? We were just talking, uh, no idea about the band. We were, we were just talking about concerts that we've all been to, or big, memorable concerts that we've been to. Paul Hutchins had kicked things off with, uh, where you go, best concert ever at 1987 Motley Crue and White Snake. Darren Clark apparently got a girl pregnant after Metallica. Pink Floyd at the Carrier Dome, says Paul. William L. has got some concerts. Sonic Youth in a small concert hall on the University of Montana campus. Dennis and Tupac. Metallica and Soundgarden at Lollapalooza in the mid-90s. I was, I was saying... I, I, had a, I had a number. I had McCartney. I've seen Rolling Stones at Dodger Stadium. Kanye at Coachella. The hologram year at Coachella. Darren Clark saying that he saw the, he was watching that. He, Snoop looked scared in that one. Sam Banks also saw McCartney at Bush Stadium. Nice. All right. What do we got here? We've got James Wilder Jr. and then the autograph right here. Wow. It's the guy in the box, Johnny Manziel. Man, back in 2014, this would have been a huge hit. 19 out of 25. I think he still sells well with uh, with the college crew. Um, that goes to Daniel Patera and the Cleveland Browns. And Connor Shaw? Man, remember Connor Shaw? There's Josh Huff. Now, these oranges aren't numbered, but they will they will ship. Oh, back when Giovanni Bernard was a fresh face. Back when Khalil Mack was still a Raider and a rookie. Is he, is he big in Canada? There's Andrew Luck out of 125. All right, Derek Carr, rookie. And we've got Jay Samaro for the Jets, rookie auto for Daniel Patera. Logan, what's going on? Christian Ponder. Coney Ely.
Frank Gore when he was still a Niner. Jarek McKinnon to 125. And Rodgers. All right, that was 2014. Now let's move into 2015. Right here. With this guy on the front. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Ethan said you heard Johnny Manziel got traded? So where is he now? What's Johnny Manziel doing? That tie-dye autograph would have been a monster when this came out. It was a monster. I remember doing this. Remember, it was a monster back in 2014. Let's see here it was, hiding here for the last four years. cool to see these old products because you can kind of see how the design has evolved over the years. Wow, look at this. This is, this is we should treasure that one. There's a Sean McCoy, Bud Dupree to 150, and we've got Taylor Taylor Heine Taylor Hinick Wait, he started in week 17, didn't he? For who? He played. Taylor played for somebody. This is Vikings edition. This will still go to Conrad. A three fifty. He played for somebody. There's Andy Dalton to seventy five. John Riggins to 150. I wonder how many... <laughs> Logan, you could probably math it out. How many packs I've opened. If you look at all of our videos, take the boxes, number of packs in there, etc., etc. Panthers, that's right. Sorry for the Panthers. He just looked up... Okay, so William has Johnny Manziel news. He was commenting on the Kanye versus Drake beef today. Is there a Kanye Drake beef? What's going on? In I thought both of those guys were chill. <laughs> I don't get into beefs with anybody. There's Bernardrick McKinney. That's for the Texans. Ethan with that one. And Johnny Manziel, the man of the people, had to, had to weigh in. I've got thoughts on this. Russell Wilson to 50. That's for the Seahawks. Chris Miller with the Seahawks. Should be a good game tomorrow. There he is again. Taylor starting for the Panthers. Kurt Warner. And that is that, my friends. That is uh, 2015 Panini Prism Football. And we'll sleeve and top load all those serial numbered cards before they go out. Those are the days for Jason Pierre-Paul. 
All right, now let's move into 2016. We've got 2016 encased football. Nice. Good luck. Sam Banks saying Tony Khan, son of Shad Khan, owner of the Jaguars, is starting a new pro wrestling promotion with some SoCal guys. Huh. Do I have a blank card here? I don't think I do. Got Mariota. Got Derrick Henry, his teammate, 30 out of 49. Rookie quad memorabilia. And we've got Cardell Jones, substantial swatches to 25. For the Bills, that goes to Daniel Patera. And back here is the Hackenberg, Christian Hackenberg. Scripted signatures, 13 out of 49. A box of certified like this? I don't know off the top of my head. Maybe a hundred bucks? Jets with that one. And that goes to Daniel Patera. Allergies are firing in here. Uh, Darren Clark is a huge Jaguar fan. He does not approve of the wrestling. Let's see. Do we approve of this? Yes. Yes. Rookie cat patch autograph. Four out of 49. Michael Thomas. Eight, five, and a 10 on the auto. Nice one for the Saints. Jeffrey Punt with that. All right. Let's go to 2017 Panini Donner Certified Cuts Football. This one right here. Johnny Manziel, William L is reporting, so he's he's got the got the stats and info for us. He was on the bench for Six weeks before getting traded to the to Montreal, given the start, and he proceeded to toss four interceptions by halftime. So, is this it for Johnny Manziel? All right, good luck, everybody. But I'm I'm reading what Sam Banks is saying. So, so Tony Khan, are they? They're trying to start a new wrestling pro wrestling league to compete against WWE. They've invested a hundred million dollars in there. In that new venture. Seems like a lot. Maybe it's not. 
We can use some investments. 79 out of 99. Tredavious White for the Bills, Daniel Patera. And James Conner, 178 out of 299. Nice. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I was like, I was as I was opening up the packs, I was like, I don't remember this product at all. But I do kind of like, I do kind of like that sort of, that sort of fake, like, cut auto look. I don't know. I kind of liked it. What's wrong with that top loader? All right, so that goes to the Steelers. That'll be for Michael Gallucci and the Steelers. And future legends. Marlon Mack. Hi, Rory. And John Riggins, John Riggins relic to 99, historical pieces for Connor and the Redskins. All Elite Wrestling apparently is what's, what it's going to be called. Like I said, if the, uh, if the Khan family wants to, uh, wants to invest in Jaspi's case breaks, throw a little bit of that, that Khan money our way. Be happy to happy to work for them. We'll sell the business to them. All right. Is Marlon Mack a future legend? Maybe I don't know. Didn't win the dynasty boxes, Rory. Darren Darren McKenzie D Mac I think was very happy though. He was happy. One person sad. No, 29 people sad. <laughs> One person happy. There are a lot of disappointed people. Uh, next box is 2018 Leaf Ultimate Draft Football. Now we're in 2018. Then we'll do 2018 Optic First Outline. And then we'll do the Mini Helmet. You got like three quarters of the autos in those breaks though, didn't you? You got like half the autos in that break. All right, we've got Dallas waiting for Godair, Dallas Goddard. Uh, Will Comstock has the Eagles. He posted notes here. Well, better, better than zero, Rory, which a lot of people got. It's all relative. Roy Screen starting to sound like Joe P. Royce Freeman. That goes to Broncos. I blank on that. That goes to J Mac in Denver. We got Darren Carrington the second. Darren Carrington the second. Where does he go? Was he even drafted? with the Argonauts now. All right. What was the last pro team he was associated with? Cowboys. We'll go Cowboys on this. Bulldog fan with the Cowboys. And we've got a redemption. It's 
Nice. Leaf Black Gold Auto Card. Bradley Chubb. A big Chubb right here. Another one for J Mac and the Broncos. And last but not least, it's nice. Out of 25, Calvin Ridley. His autograph's a little more uh, a little more going on in this auto. Atlanta Falcons, Michael Losey. All right. 2018. Donner's Optic Football, first off the line, a premium edition, which is only two cards in here. So we'll see what we get. Or two autos in here. I think two other base cards, too. All right, let's see what we got. Bullell Powell, Sony Michelle to 25. We got DJ Moore, autograph for the Panthers. That'll go to Darren Clark, one of his last spot mojo teams. And another one for Darren Clark, Ian Thomas. It's a personal box for Darren Clark. There you go. Out of 75 on that one. Got Rashad Penny. Wait, it's another autograph? I thought there was only two. All right, bonus autograph. Rashad Penny going to Chris Miller and the Seahawks. Is this another auto then? It is. We got four autos in this one. Boston Scott. Does that mean there's a there's a box out there with zero autographs? In a parallel universe, somebody opening someone's opening that mixer, open that box and there's no autographs in there. There's Boston Scott, and that goes to the Saints. That'll be for Jeffrey Punt. All right. Mini helmet time. Now, if we happen to find, sometimes there may be uh, a player's autograph, and it's this college helmet. So in that case, it'll go to the team that he is currently on, our usual college rules. The team that he's currently on, or I guess in the case of Darren Carrington, although I don't think we're going to find that in here. But the team that they were recently associated with, if it happens to be Darren Carrington situation... Retired player, college helmet, go the team that he played for the longest. All right. Good luck, everyone. College helmet. Bama. And it's another Calvin Ridley. Nice. Mini helmet for Michael Losey. You've got the Beckett sticker right there. You also have the authenticity card right there. And his whiteout ink autograph right on the top there. Very cool. Nice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. They're winning the whole thing this year, right? Or is there value on Clemson? Um, that's it, folks. That was our Jaspie Seven Box Wild Card Weekend Football Mixer Picky Team 3. I think we have a couple more mixers planned. So join us tonight for more breaks, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Join me tomorrow, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Join Nick on Sunday, Monday, two, seven nights a week, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.